And tonight we're seeing dramatic video of a road rage incident on the Cross Bronx Expressway that turned into a brutal beating. A suspect breaking through the windshield, the victim on the phone with 911 and pleading for help. Tonight, that man is talking exclusively with Eyewitness News reporter Safan Kim about the horrifying attack. It's in my car! It is a violent explosion of rage captured on dash cam video. And this terrifying moment you are watching is round two of the assault. Yes, come, come, he's leaving my windshield. The victim can be heard desperately pleading for help with 911, afraid he'd be left for dead on the side of a dark, rainy Cross Bronx Expressway. Help me, help me. He yelled, I have Chinese, I'm gonna kill you two or three times. In this exclusive interview with Eyewitness News, the 28-year-old victim says he rear-ended a black Honda Fit Monday night in the Bronx. It pulled over, but so did this Mercedes minivan. Notice it has no license plate. Out of those two vehicles, he says, about 10 people got out, surrounded his car, then watched as the suspect beat him like it was a sport. His eye, his ear, his neck, chest, and hip, bruised and sore, hospitalized for two days. The assailant punched his driver's side window, peeled the window back like this, punched his face through it and tried to yank him out. Then he broke in through the passenger side, cornered like a wounded animal. For the entire seven minutes he was on with 911, he was punched and kicked relentlessly. The victim says he can't get out of his head, the thick sole boots smashing into his face. If there's no hate, why you treat me like this? Because easy target and we won't speak yes, out. Yes. I'm not the first generation of immigrant, immigrant and... <sighs> Sorry. I'm not the first uh, generation, I'm like second or third. I'm young, but I still get treated like this. Police have not categorized this as a hate this crime, but the victim thinks it was. He's not alone. That's a pretty vicious hate crime. He wasn't seen as American enough that night. This guy did use racial slurs while beating um, up the victim. Um, and so I really hope that they take this seriously. The victim says police officers randomly happened on the scene as the suspect was on his hood, kicking in his windshield. If they hadn't passed by, he thinks he'd be dead. The suspect drove off. Police have made no arrests.